For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney, and we're here at the Solid Pavilion at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, speaking with Ken Sanfield, president of Solid America. So, Ken, some big news out of the show. Solid's the newest contributing member of the ORAN Alliance, yes, right? Yes, we are, yes. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing within that organization and what it means for the company. Well, you know, uh, obviously having a standard for the RAN architectures is, uh, is very important, right? It uh, reads. Uh, creativity and innovation, and uh, it allows uh, different disparate vendors to be able to work together, uh, obviously uh, driving down costs and breeding innovation. Um, being part of the ORAN Alliance and, and being part of the, uh, the group of folks that just put together some solutions in Japan and in Korea uh, is certainly really awesome, and uh, we really in, have been enjoying uh, the fruits of learning how that's going to all work together. So. Uh, it's a learning situation right now, right? And uh, but it's it's uh, it's really good, really good. So this idea of opening up RAN interfaces, you mentioned that it, it creates the kind of different economic dynamic, and it also really changes the way that Solid can address the market relative to some competitors, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it, by opening up and creating standards, you know, you you breed innovation. You allow for more vendors to come up with new innovation and new ideas to reduce cost. Obviously, the, the core role uh, of creating these standards and opening things up is to lower cost. I mean, that's the number one reason people want to do it. But it also uh, allows for a lot of creativity, a lot of uh, innovation with vendors that uh, normally wouldn't have a chance to get involved. So uh, as soon as you create those standards and people can drive towards it, all kinds of new ideas happen. And the ORAN Alliance is really helping drive that. And what's great is you got you got big organizations, operators like KT, SKT, uh, and you got um, uh, Docomo uh, and, uh, and and others, Samsung. Everyone's working towards these standards and, and cooperating together to come up with the ecosystem. Uh, Fujitsu is another one. So everyone is really driving for that, right? So obviously those are some big names, but when they create those standards, it's going to allow companies like Solid to partake and come up with our own ideas. And that's really the big big announcement for us was being able to say, look, Solid is able to drive innovation in those areas. You know, you mentioned some of the Korean carriers there. I know you guys are doing some cool stuff in that market. Can you give us a little snapshot and tell me what it might mean for the U.S. market? Sure, sure. Well, you know, every year we talk about this, you know, we, we, there's new innovations that come up in Korea, new ways of doing things, and we, we try to bring those to other markets every year, a little bit, little by little as they trickle out. Um, and what's been going on now, of course, they're de deploying 3.5G, uh, 3.5 gig, 5G, I should say, <laughs> not 3.5G. Um, and uh, so, you know, that's allowing, uh, they're starting to deploy, right? And so we're learning a lot about how the repeaters are going to work. Uh, uh, for 5GNR, we're uh, uh, deploying the DAS architectures, you know, the new architectures that they're looking for, more active DAS, active radio on the ceiling, things like that. Um, and, and also millimeter wave is starting to come up a lot. It's obviously coming up a lot in the US, but in Korea it's also starting to, to uh, be something that's important to folks uh, for different reasons, different applications. But um, yeah, so those are some of the things we're working on. Uh, we're also uh, very big into the uh, WDM uh, and uh, uh, different uh, DWDM and CWDM optical solutions. Uh, we've been deploying our Infinity Tunable Laser Infinity Access product lines in, in Korea and as part of the 5G rollouts and that's been uh, uh, also well received and uh, it's doing real well and we've actually been bringing that to the U.S. as well. You know, I, I've been talking to you for years about the Genesis DAS product line. I was hoping maybe you could give us an update on that. Yes, absolutely. So uh, the Genesis DAS has been uh, several years in the making. Uh, we are starting to ship product right now uh, in the U.S. Uh, a little bit later in, in the EMEA markets as well, that's coming too. Uh, and we have new versions of the product coming out and trickling out throughout the year. Uh, but we're starting deployments and it's pretty exciting. It's a new, new architecture for us. Essentially fiber to the edge, right? Um, and and what, I, what I really think that Genesis is going to drive is um, it's going to drive the momentum for active solutions pushed towards the edge, right? So it, it basically is fiber, you know, we're pushing the radio architecture closer to the endpoints. In the beginning, it was signal source in the front end. 
Now it can move to the hub in between, it was a switch basically, and some of that radio architecture is making its way all the way into the remote. So ultimately, what we're doing today with is just DAS is going to migrate into a complete active uh, a suite of products. And that's where Genesis is really going to go. So you've got a lot of action going on around the edge, around DAS, and around 5G. What's the big picture and the long-term outlook for Solid as you address these different parts of the technology stack that keeps us all connected? Absolutely. You know, the sky's the limit. I mean, uh, the, our growth continues to be uh, amazing even after all these years. Uh, we very much, uh, you know, to say that we're counting on 5G, I mean, 5G, everyone's looking to 5G, right? Um, we're looking towards the fact that in the U.S., for example, we still have less than a 12% penetration rate into all buildings. Uh, you know, we're going to take do our part to to uh, increase that. So there's higher penetration. Uh, the only way you're going to be able to do all the cool things with 5G is to have more devices in these buildings. So Solid is going to play in that ecosystem. We're going to be making these solutions providing end-to-end -end products that solve for the enterprise and, and all these types of buildings. And don't forget also public safety. Um, and we're doing the same thing now in the uh, EMEA markets in Europe. Uh, and 4G and 5G of course is still important for Cala. Uh, 4G is, being, you know, is currently being deployed quite rapidly in, in uh, the Cala countries. And so we're, um, we're active in that as well. 5G as well, I think it's like almost like they want to skip 4G and just go straight to 5G now, right? But um, you know, there's, there's so much opportunity. There's, there's really so much opportunity. And uh, uh, you know, we, we like to solve some of the problems and, uh, and be there for our customers. Ken, I really appreciate you sharing that global perspective from Solid with us. Thank you, appreciate it.